Hello, my name is Sterling. Today I'd like to talk to you about how you can get started in computer science. First of all, there's two types of hardware that are relatively inexpensive and easy to get started with. The first is a Raspberry Pi, and the other one is an Arduino. But what is the difference between these two? And how can you use them to get started in computer science? Come on over to this side of my desk and let me show you the differences and show you how to get started. I'm glad that you came over to this side of my computer. Let me show you the difference between a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino. At first glance, they look very similar. A Raspberry Pi is a small, compact computer. You can see right here, it has different input and output ports. That's a Raspberry Pi. And the Arduino also looks like a small computer. Let me show you the difference between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino. So let's start off with the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi, I have one set up here, is essentially a small computer. The Raspberry Pi, you can plug in to a computer monitor, you can plug in a keyboard and mouse, and you can actually run programs on it and program it yourself even. So this runs off of a micro SD card right here. Here's an example of what a micro SD card is. This small little memory chip will run the computer software on here. To turn on the Raspberry Pi, I need to plug it in. You can see it lights up. It's telling me it's turning on. I can see on my computer screen, it's starting to boot the computer. It says, welcome to the Raspberry Pi. Now there's lots of different versions that you can get with a Raspberry Pi for the software. I recommend getting a kit that has pre-installed software to make it easier for getting started. And here is my Raspberry Pi. It's a computer that I can install programs, and this one that I have actually came with pre-installed programs specifically to help me in programming. In this sample program, I can learn how to program Scratch the Cat by dragging and dropping uh, my code. Essentially, the Raspberry Pi is a general purpose computer. It's a computer that you can connect to the internet, you can plug in keyboards, mice, uh, you can connect it to a monitor, and you can have it do lots of different things. You can change the software, you can rewrite the software, and if you mess up, it's less than $40, so it's not that big of a mistake. It's a great tool to learn computer science on because it's affordable, cheap, and you can do so many different things. So this is the Raspberry Pi a small general purpose computer that you can test and explore different computer science options with. The other computer that I want to show you is right here. This is an Arduino. Now this Arduino is set up, you can see there's some wires going to this breadboard or this place to plug in other wires and it's plugged into three lights. There's a green light, a blue light, and a red light. I've installed a program on this computer that tells it when to turn on each light and for how long. All I need to do is add electricity and it will start running my program. I don't need a monitor, I don't need a keyboard. It runs whatever I tell it to inside of my program. And here you can see the lights turn on and off based on the program that I have given it. With this, you can also get a, a kit that will give you other options of things that you can install. You can install small motors, you can install speakers, you can install many different components that are going to add to what you are doing to the Arduino. It's a standalone special purpose computer. Here's the website for a Raspberry Pi. You go to raspberrypi.org and it has information about the Raspberry Pi, including different downloads, help forms, education, there's different ways that you can learn using the Raspberry Pi right from their website. The Arduino webpage also has software that you can use to install. It has learning, teaches you how to get started, and you can connect with other people who are also learning from the Arduino. With the Arduino, you can get software to program how it operates. Now you can download the Arduino IDE but I recommend using the Arduino web editor. I find it works a little bit easier, 
and is much better for beginner users to understand how to edit from the Arduino web editor and program your Arduino. This program is created in the web editor. It's basically telling the Arduino that there's three different LEDs, and I've put them in different locations, 11, 12, 13. If you look closely on the Arduino, there's numbers. These numbers correspond to where these are plugged in. So I need to program these numbers, 11, 12, and 13, so that they turn on with these lights. Let me show you how I do that. On the computer screen, I have LED 1, LED 2, and LED 3 inside of port 13, 12, and 11. And here I have written some instructions. I'm not going to go through all of these instructions, but this program essentially programs how my lights turn on and turn off. If I want to change it, I can change my program inside of this online editor. And in this case, I am changing the time duration for how long these lights will stay on and how long they will blink. I send this program. I just realized in order for my program to work, I have to plug my Arduino into my computer. So I disconnect the power. I plug my Arduino in. Now this will also power my Arduino program, but I would like to reprogram it. So I come in here and I've updated my code. So I go ahead and upload it to the Arduino. Now what it's doing is it's compiling my code. It sends the file to the Arduino and you can see it has changed how my LED lights are flashing. So in just a quick review, the difference between a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino. The Raspberry Pi is a general purpose computer that you can install, you can run programs, you can play games, uh, you can connect it to your monitor, you have a keyboard, mouse, and the Arduino is a special purpose computer where you create a program for it to keep going over and over again. Now, if you are planning on getting a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino, I recommend getting one of the starter kits. It has a lot more to it, and it'll be much easier to get started using the Raspberry Pi or the Arduino to learn computer science. I hope that this tutorial has helped you better understand the difference between a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino. Have a good day.